Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's learn with mechanical engineer. So today we are going to design a wooden chair as you can see it on the screen. So without wasting time, let's begin with the design. First we are going to design this part. Let's sketch it on the front plane. So just select first point. I'll make three points dimension this thing 880 the vertical distance horizontal distance is 290 uh, I'm sorry it is 195 and the vertical distance Sorry. 120 similarly for this it is 290 and horizontal distance is 160 Again for this it is 160. Just take a spline now. Yes. Just escape this and take a three point circle passing to this point and this point. What I'm going to do is smart dimension this thing by 1800 radius. And the sketch and the sketch make a tangent. Okay, select on the spline, click on this point, make it horizontal. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, exit from the sketch. Now select the right plane and sketch on it. On the right plane, we'll draw sketch. Uh, select the three point circle again okay just multi dimension this thing it's 40 mm and Give this a radius of 400. Just give a vertical height of 880. Okay. Exit the sketch. Now go to features, curves, project curve, project sketch on sketch. Select both the sketch. Okay. So can you see it? Yes guys. Now simple just take the right plane, sketch on it, make it perpendicular, draw a small circle of diameter 25 mm. Okay. Just select this sketch and select this point peers ok now just go to features like sweep select the profile and the path ok I'll just mirror this thing now ok before mirroring let's just make sure that the plane is uh, the bottom part is horizontal so what I'm going to do is select top plane which of plane by uh, 10 mm okay I made a plane and then go to insert cut with surface okay now it is horizontal now just go to part chamfer or fillet chamfer 
of 3 mm select this edge okay fine now just do the fillet thing oh i'm sorry uh, sir mirror about the right plane select sweep cut surface okay so as you can see our first part is ready so just give material to it i'm adding a material of carriage so that appearance okay so let's just save this part let's stop share Now we are going to design uh, this part, stool two. It's again the same. Select the sketch front plane. So guys, again draw the sketch, sketch in the similar fashion. Just pause the video and take the dimension and do it by by, do it by yourself. This is just a spline, nothing else. Make it vertical and horizontal. This part. That's it. So this is basic spline. So now again exit sketch, select the right plane, sketch on it, make it perpendicular. Now similarly, smart dimension this thing, make it 55, and a vertical distance of. 280 okay and again make this as 1800 exit sketch again go to features curves project curve Select both the sketches. Okay. Again, guys, uh, select a plane, make a uh, sweep cut. I'll show you. So, guys, you can see this now. We are making a base plate. I just drew a normal sketch, took a spline of 174 length and a 20 mm uh, normal straight line. I have just given a horizontal command to this and this. So, this is how it is going to look. So now I'm just going to revolve this thing by surface. Surface revolve. Axis of rotation is this. Okay. So this is basically a surface part. Now I'm just going to thicken this thing. Go to insert features. Uh, I'm sorry. sa boss and thicken it thicken it by 5 mm okay so i'm just giving an appearance to it just click and drag on it appearance so we are ready with the part i'll just save this thing steward 3 exit now guys we are going to design this part the base of the base okay so let's begin our design so as you can see it's a basic design i'm just going to revolve this thing about this axis so just pause the video and take the dimension and draw this it's a very basic diagram i'm just going to revolve this thing about this axis Okay. Just using a fillet of two mm to this and the step part. Okay. Again, select this face, sketch on it. 
sorry select this face and sketch on it okay so i'm going to do convert entities select this line so it is converted now to sketch So what I'm going to do is sketch, uh, take a three point arc, I'm sorry. Smart dimension this thing. As 150 and dimension this thing as 280. Now draw a center line passing this through point and one more center line with this axis. dimension of 50 degree now just go to mirror copy this entire thing about this axis okay just go to trim option trim all the unnecessary points okay then go to feature extrude extrude these two things up to surface up to the surface ok let's go on the bottom part sketch on it make a small circle of diameter 20 mm dimension this thing about the center point as 188 186 okay now just extrude this thing by 20 mm okay and again mirror this thing right then okay so here yeah, is a part is ready I'll just give a material to it okay just save it store 4 okay so now we are going to design the leg of this bench or uh, chair so let's begin the design So this is the basic design of uh, basic sketch of the leg. You can easily uh, draw it. It's a very basic a straight line and a spline of line 285. This thing 35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select three planes, one at this point, one at this point, and another at this point. I'll show you how to select the plane at once. Reference. I'll just exit from the sketch once. Select a reference geometry of plane. Select a plane over here and this a reference I will give off top plane. Okay, select it. In the similar fashion, you can select a plane over here too. So, in a similar fashion, you can make a sketch on this plane, on this plane too. For example, I will just sketch on this plane. I'll select a circle, make a smart dimension in it, making it 32 this circle and this circle are 32 and the circle which I am going to draw on the next plane is going to be 20 so I will just sketch on this plane and sketch on this sketch so this is going to be 20 I am sorry I am supposed to draw on this plane yeah. 20 so guys 
all three done now just go to boundary select the sketches click ok okay so now just select this plane this way uh, this face make a circle and extrude it by 20 mm dimension 20 and I can extrude by 20 mm okay now just give a chamfer of as we have given the last part 0.3 or uh, 3 mm okay I'm just giving a material to it just drag the material onto this appearance okay so I'll just save this part stall file now only the left, uh, left part is this ring part that I'm going to design it's very very easy so new okay I'm going to sketch it on the front plane sketch smart dimensioning it 25 mm at a distance of 175 just going to evolve this thing ok adding material to it just save this part scroll fan So now we are just going to begin, now we are beginning with the assembly part, so go to file, new, assembly, ok, just insert the component, make it large, first I am going to insert this, sorry, uh, we are going to insert this part, ok, insert component, I am going to select the base it is very easy just make this two part to a coincident select this face and this face it is coincident just going to reverse this part yes this edge this edge okay and just fix one plane of both front plane front plane okay done so this is the basic of this thing now just insert the next part and just insert the leg Now what I'm going to do is to select this face, mate and this thing. Okay. Now coincident the faces, interior face and this top one. Okay. And just meet the right plane so that uh, it doesn't move. So I'm just looking okay. So all the three motions are restricted. Now I'll just mirror this thing, mirror this component, I'll select the plane, plane and select this component, ok, now just insert the next part, now assembly of this is the main, First, make this two thing co cleaner. Okay. Now just make this face and this thing tangent. Okay. Done. So you can see it can move. So, what I am going to do is select a front plane of anyone and any one front plane I'm sorry don't do this mate just meet the two planes 
Okay. Click OK. Now we're going to install the last part, last component. Uh, second, second last sorry. Stool two. You can just uh, make this thing in the similar fashion as we have done the stool one. So you can. So, guys, uh, as I have fitted this, and now get the last component. Browse. Okay. Open. I'm sorry. Open. What I'm going to do is just made the planes of this thing so guys as you can see you can easily make this thing there is no hard or there is nothing rocket science in this you just have to make the planes front plane right plane everything and you can get to this so this is the basic design of chair so guys if you liked my video please please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching my video thanks a lot